Hey allies, if you want to log in straight from startup into a beautiful looking big picture mode, which has been customized to your wishes, then this is the guide for you. If you don't know about Decky Loader from SteamOS, then it's a fantastic set of plugins that you can really customize your big picture mode to your liking. And if you are mostly using Steam anyway, this really gears things up so you can forget that Windows is on there. So first things first is you want to go to the Decky Loader GitHub page, which I'll link in the description below and also in the guide attached. Then under actions, you want to go to the builder win workflow. And then on this page, you want to find the latest release of the main branch, which for me at the time was a piece prettier. And then scroll down to the bottom of that page and you'll see an artifact section. And then you can download the plugin loader win.exe. Now you may get some warnings from either antivirus or your browser blocking this. So you'll have to, on several occasions, treat this as a safe, suspicious file, which actually means quite a lot more involvement than necessary. And hopefully they can get this sorted so that we don't have this issue going forwards. This is also a problem once we get to the zip file. We want the plugin loader no console.exe version, and you might get an antivirus warning as soon as you extract this file. And if you try to run it, it should run. You may also get the, your PC dialogue, which we need to open the more info and say run anyway. If this doesn't run, it's because the antivirus has actually already got rid of it and you need to refresh and go to your Windows security. So open up Windows security and go to the protection history. This should show you the file that's been quarantined and you wanna make sure that the uh, threat that was blocked, which obviously should be recent, is actually the plugin underscore no console version. You'll get a few UAC warnings for this. And if you don't get the issue here where it gives you actions, then you'll just need to re-extract the file and try again. And essentially you want to go into that threats section and say run or restore when that's available. So once you extract that and you get the block warning again, then you should have an action that says to restore and then you can actually run the .exe. Now running that won't do anything on its own. There is an extra section that we need to do. We go to this PC, C, Program Files x86, and then your Steam folder. And then in that Steam folder, we want to right click somewhere and say new file or use the new dialog up in the top left, new text document. And we're going to rename this to a very specific section, which is .cef hyphen enable hyphen enable hyphen remote hyphen debugging. And I'll put this link in the description as well. And then we want to remove the dot text. And we want to remove dot text from that so that it runs as a normal file. Once that's done, you can run the new plugin console version. And now when you go into Steam, you'll need to press Control and 2. So you'll need to bring up either the virtual full keyboard or have a separate keyboard plugged in for that. But Control 2 will bring up the side menu and you'll see that we've got this new plug icon down the bottom. This is the Decky plugin library. So on here, we want to press the marketplace type icon. As we've not got anything installed yet, you can use the settings in future to update the plugins or remove them but we're just gonna go into the marketplace section. And there are absolutely tons of awesome plugins in here for you to choose from. Most of these are more relevant on the Steam Deck, but there's a few that work across the board. And the ones that we're mostly interested in here is the HLTB or the How Long to Beat plugin, which tells us how long it takes to beat games via standard playthroughs and other bits and pieces and gives us that extra information on the games pages. So we're just gonna scroll down to HLTB and hit install and that will add that to our library. This did break recently, but they have fixed it again. So if you have got the latest version, that's all fully functional. And then the other one, which is the one that actually customizes the look and feel of big picture mode the most is CSS Loader. Now you can either search for this or scroll up to the top. You may have seen it earlier. We want CSS Loader from Deck Themes. Again, just hit install on this and that will install it on the side. Then we want to press Control 2 to open that side menu again, and we'll see CS Loader in the right hand side. Then in that CSS Loader menu, we want to hit the download kind of icon in the top right. And this is where you'll see all of the themes and extra plugins that are available for CSS Loader. 
Now I use the obsidian theme, which is what turns everything that nice black and transparent effect. And then the other one is switch like home. So if you want the same desktop as you saw me running at the very beginning, then these are the two plugins that you'll want and you'll have to enable these in CSS loader as well. But there are absolutely tons of extras in here that you can do to really change the look and feel of both the game pages, the home screen, the way the library works. So you can spend a lot of time in here, but I'm just wanting to show you what I was running here. And then with those two installed in the CSS loader menu, you just need to enable those and you can even create profiles so that you can switch between different versions on a whim. But now you'll see that I have that obsidian and switch like home screen and everything looks fantastic. If you reboot your PC, that plugin is no longer active. So to make this run on startup and also have Steam boot up on startup, we've just got a couple of extra options. So I'm just going to create a folder in a easier location for Decky Loader so that it's not in my download section. I don't accidentally delete it. Unfortunately, copying this doesn't, doesn't keep the restore from the threat originally. So you will have the windows pop up of Trojan again. So you will need to go and restore this again just so that it stays in that section. Then on the startup front, we want to go to start up apps and just search for this from the windows menu. And in here, we want to just get rid of a few things that are going to slow things down on startup. So I don't use teams or OneDrive, so we can turn those off and anything else in here that you don't think that you need on very first startup to just make it a little bit quicker. You want to make sure that Steam is in here as a startup program. If it isn't, then in your Steam settings menu, you want to go to interface and then there is an option there to run Steam when my computer starts. And then you also want to enable big picture mode on load as well. Then you want to search for something called task scheduler. And this will open up the task scheduler. And on the right hand side, you want to say create basic task. Just give it a name for you to recognize. I'm going to call mine Decky Start. And then hit next. Then we want this to run when the computer starts. So under trigger, just select that option. And then under action, we do want it to start a program. So keep that one selected and press next. And then on the program slash script section, we want to browse to our location of that plugin loader underscore no console exe and hit next. And then we also want to tick the box down the bottom here of open the properties dialog when I press finish because we need to change some of the properties of that immediately. If you don't tick that, then you'll have to go and find it in your task library and go to properties. But once we're in here under general, we want to run this whether the user is logged on or not. And you can just check that the trigger is set here at system startup. Under conditions, we also want to untick the start the task only if the computer is on AC or power. Otherwise, when you're on battery, this won't run. And then under that general section, we also want to click the do not store password. The task will only have access to local computer resources as well. Otherwise, you will have to specify an admin password for this to run under and it's not needed. So just make sure that that's set. And now when you restart, that task will run even if you haven't quite logged in yet. So while you're sat on that login screen, it will run in the background. And then as soon as you log in, it should open up to big picture mode with your nice new fancy layout. Let us know in the comments below what plugins you're using. And if you found this useful, then please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.